and tackle the challenge of malnutrition. We discussed investing in Africa's grey matter infrastructure. What does it mean? The evidence is overwhelming that malnutrition, specifically undernutrition, has a huge impact on the cognitive abilities of Africa's children that translates into a deficit in economic development on the continent, both today and in the future. Dealing with malnutrition is not necessarily just a humanitarian imperative, but it's also an economic imperative for the continent that matters to governments and to private sector leaders as a whole, as well as to households, families and individuals. And it's important to deal with it. Dealing with it requires political leadership. The leadership that we have seen in the African Development Bank with President Adesina and the High Five strategy is an important representation of that leadership that is necessary to deal with malnutrition at the regional level. But importantly, countries, ministers of finance, ministers of planning, presidents, prime ministers have to focus on the future well-being of their countries. Investing in nutrition today will assure prosperity of our economies way into the future beyond the narrow lifespans of political offices. It's important to consider the African Development Bank not only as a primary funder with its portfolio, but as a convener and influencer of this large-scale movement that is needed to guarantee the nutritional status of our children today that will build the economy of the future. And the grey matter infrastructure that we'll build will be the one that will sustain even the physical infrastructure that we are building in Africa of today.